Ron has been with us for quite some time and um, you know, in the team we want to, I think it's a great thing that we try and create a family culture and uh, you know, I've missed a lot of my things and when I was a younger coach, missed a lot of things like that uh, with my newborn and, and wedding anniversaries and I wasn't even at my brother's wedding and I always, uh, because of rugby, Not invited. So, uh, <laughs> so it's always important for me that um, you know, that's a special, special occasion in the player's life and um, I always feel that uh, if the player knows, you also back him in his personal life. And if you uh, give him the opportunity to be with family, because it's very, very important, uh, they always go and produce on the field. And um, you know, there was no question in my mind that it was the right thing to, to give Brian time off. And uh, he's been with the team; he's trained well now for two, three weeks. And uh, you know, there's a lot of changes in the way he want to play. So uh, he will definitely slot in. Um, I have a captain's run just to make that up percent sure. But uh, he's definitely the type of player that will go to higher level. And like I said, he's a very, very experienced player. He's been there. I know he's focused. We've been in contact, seen him through all the stuff. So uh, I'm very, very confident that uh, he'll play another great game. And one thing with Brian, uh, I don't know why, but whenever he played for the box, or even for me way back, is uh, has always been special. And but just he lost weekend with the two tries, the previous try as well. So he's an in, integral part of this team. And um, you know, it's great to have a player like that. Yeah. Akis could have played. Uh, we just felt that uh, we're going to give him a break. And, um, you know, Flip's always going to play this game. Uh, at this stage, I must say, it's probably the most start I've ever had players at this time of the season. End of year last year, the guys were really stuffed. This is probably the most tired I've ever seen the players. So the, 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 the plan was always to, uh, to freshen a few guys up, to rotate here and there without losing the continuity because you, you have to have some form of continuity. So Flip will be fresh coming back. And uh, Ludwig, I really believe, done well. Uh, he's really, really played well. Uh, the most tackles in the game, 15 tackles in 40 minutes, which is amazing at that level. Uh, so, uh, you know, I'm happy with the lock bearing. And Bakis could have played, but we don't want to take any chances with him. No, I don't think so. Um, you know, it's end of the day, guys need to play for their country. That's, you know, like I said, you only have like 18 test matches left, more or less, before the World Cup starts. So, you're only together for three weeks, and next week there's going to be a lot of changes. So, we plan well, we know, you know where we're going. Um, guys like Billy at least had a break from the Cheetahs, uh, they had a bye before the game. So we look at every single individual um, so, and we manage the guys well. But um, I really, really want to say this and I mean this is that uh, you know, Wales has really got a quality side. If you look at that game, only after the game we, I realised what a quality game it was. I mean they had made 200 tackles, which is almost the most that we've ex ever had. So we really catered the ball of them, ran harder them, that's why we scored tries. And we made more than 130, and that ball in play was in 39 minutes, which is the highest I've ever been involved with, not just in test match rugby, almost all rugby. So that was a world-class quality side. And uh, you know, if we weren't mentally up for it and if we weren't very well prepared, uh, it could have got, gone either way. Uh, and I thought we really scored special tries, so we need to stay humble. And, and be focused again because we know again it's going to be a hell of a tough game. All the previous games have been tough. So you have to have some form of continuity and you have to pick your best side. And I'm very happy with this side. Uh, we are had to make changes is that, uh, you know, we, we really worry about uh, uh, Jan Saffrontein. That's why Weinan came in. Uh, he's a guy who can cover 12 and 13. In the previous games, we didn't have 12, 13 cover. Um, you know, uh, Fuerson was the cover there. But uh, you need to have cover because most of the setup moves goes in the 12-13 channel. So that's why we brought Vainant in his experience. He's played a lot of rugby there and uh, he can also cover 10 and Ruan can also cover 10. Uh, we wanted to play Bossy there but uh, he's been struggling with injury and only trained once with the team. So you can't just change. So some sort of continuity but you know there's also experience around the team. You know the first thing I said to Victor and, he, and uh, that's why I respect him for him it's not about records and I also said you know the team always comes first so we don't want to make it too big thing or he doesn't want to make it too big thing but uh, you know just uh, it's it's almost like a storybook ending for him hopefully not the end but it's a it's a dream come true and um, you know he's a really remarkable man that can take two years off come back uh, other than I thought maybe if he's lucky one or two games from the bench and just as a backup now he's a captain so uh, it takes a remarkable man to do that and to play so many test matches for your country and, and to do that as captain, uh, it's, it's an unbelievable game for him and um, you know, the, the team is really, really motivated to do well for him but you know, we play for the, for the whole of South Africa, not just for Victor. So they're always motivated but uh, it's an unbelievable occasion for him and um, you know, very proud of what he's achieved. You know, to play one test match is unbelievable, to play 100 is, 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 is unheard of, it's almost awesome. And now to be the most capped player ever, 
um, at his age is, you know, it says something about the man. And I, I thought it was awesome last week. If you look at his tackles, his cleans, the line out. So he thought he had a great test match. And this is a, it's just a great way to honour him. And um, the team will definitely try and try and play for him as well. I definitely think he can. Um, you know, I, I know Victor very well. I've coached him since he was 20, 21. And uh, I could see, I've always believed that once he's going to step up to this level, um, he's always better. And that's the that's thing about a top quality players, you know. Um, when the pressure is on, they really have to come through and shine like diamonds. And I truly believe that uh, if it goes on and he's blessed and there's no injuries, that uh, if he gets elected, that Victor will be at his best playing the championship, specifically against Australia and New Zealand, because it always brings the best out of him. So uh, I think there's a huge, huge improvement from his last Super Rugby game to the first World Cup game to last weekend. I thought he really had an awesome game. And what people don't realise about Victor is... Uh, you know, we've struggled once or twice against the All Blacks where we missed kickoffs, and uh, I think that was one area of our play that uh, that was awesome the weekend. And uh, they kicked most of the balls to his area, and he fielded all of them. So probably this weekend they'll kick away from Victor and kick more to our backs and try and disrupt us there. But he covers a big area, and he's uh, in that regard, he's an unbelievable player. Not just not just in the lineups, but what he brings with the cleans, what he brings in his defence, and also with his leadership. You know, he's uh, he's a you know, the half time um, was so calm and getting the guys ready and focused again. And uh, you can just see he's an unbelievable leader on and off the field. I was always worried the first two test matches where we, uh, who hasn't had to cover 10 12. And, um, you know, with JP also starting now to find his feet at 13, and I thought he did well. Uh, I was really worried against these guys that we don't have a recognized 12 13 on the bench because they do play in that area. And if you get an injury at 12, you have to move JP in, which is. He's only finding his feet at 13, then you have to move uh, either Cornell or Lawazi in, and then another guy at 13, and there's three changes. So the other thing that uh, the reason Vainad is there is that um, he can cover 10 as well, and he also played wing uh, for South Africa. So it just gives a little bit more backup with, uh, with Vainad there, because what you don't want to have is, is, is your 9 getting injured, and then uh, everyone has to go to 9 and then have a 10, 10 uh, cover for 10. So... Uh, you know, he's a type of guy that can cover so many positions. He's, he's, he's a very experienced and he's played against these guys. So, uh, just, you know, just happy to have a guy like that on standby as well. I think what's important is it's always tough to play a team twice. Um, you know, they will definitely live themselves and uh, you can't get complacent. We have to take it to the new level. I, I truly believe that we scored some brilliant tries if you, if you watch the video. And, but there was instances in the second half and I must say, like I said, I did 200 tackles, which is it's a world-class game. Uh, but there was a few mistakes in the second half that cost us momentum. Uh, I thought, uh, great the first half. The second half, we missed one pass in the backs, and then we had to defend for 10 minutes and then missed two lineouts. Only missed two on the day, but it was in concession. And then for like for 20 minutes, we lost the momentum because at this level against a quality side, if you lose momentum, it takes you 10, 15 minutes to get the ball back. So this is more about us this week. We have to make a step up. And... Um, you know, it's not about the scores, just to get every single thing right and to be consistent for 80 minutes and get the basics right. And uh, you know, our main goal is to play the perfect game. I thought we were close in the first half, but you need to do that for 80 minutes. And uh, so we want to make a step up in a few areas, and especially the breakdown. You know, uh, you see what we can do if we get quick ball. Guys are trying to slow our ball down. They put a rash defense and try and hit us you know, off behind the advantage line. So we've changed a few things, but uh, we just need to improve and get better going forward.